What's going on everyone? It's Brian from One Stop Board Shop. And this is Dennis. So we are super excited to be here today. We actually have EUCs now. So we're gonna be carrying EUCs. We already fixed them, so you, if you ever need service, you can come to us for that, but now we're finally gonna be carrying EUCs. We've been waiting for this day for a long time, so super stoked about this. We're gonna do an unboxing video today. So we've got a Nikola AR Plus and a Bagode EXN, high speed. So we're gonna start unboxing these. We're gonna talk about them a little bit, let you know what's going on, show you guys kind of how the unboxing process works. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get one of these boxes open. All right, box is open. We got some certifications and a manual, so we can throw that off to the side for now. Should come with uh, unlocking steps to uh, be able to take your wheel out of transport mode. Most wheels will ship to you, and then you try to turn it on, you think, what's going on? It won't turn on, it's not acting right. You gotta follow your directions to be able to turn on the wheel so that way it's safe to ride. This looks like it's gonna have our charger. All right, she's heavy. All right, let's get rid of some of this, roll this off here. So, we've got it on a stand here. Um, the styrofoam didn't quite work. It comes with uh, these two bigode pads um, that you can just kind of take the adhesive off when you get the cell frame off and uh, stick them on at your comfort level. Um, but, I am going to now pass it off to Dennis to talk about this wheel, its specs, what you can expect from it. This is the Bigode Nikola Plus AR edition. There's the Nikola Plus, which is the 1800 watt hour, but this one specific is the Alien Rides version. This one's the 2700 watt hour version, so you get a little bit additional ride time as well as uh, distance you can travel. Uh, on the back when you turn it on, you'll see an LED in the back that has the Alien Rides logo as well as right behind the pedal here. Um, it is, once again, the 2700 watt hour version, so you're gonna get great mileage out of this. Top speed of the uh, wheel is 40 miles per hour, and it is a 16 inch wheel, so it's a 16 by three inch tire. You can get a couple different tires to swap on there, and it really, really is a, a fun, nimble ride. You press the power button in front here, but you hear the beeping. That means it's in transport mode, so you want to go to the lift switch here. As you can see, it's not self-balancing. You want to take the lift switch, depress, and then press the power button five times. You hear that? Turn the wheel off, turn it back on. So one thing I really do love about the Nikola Plus is that it is a 100 volt wheel. And as you can see on the side here, it has your voltmeter. So it'll be able to tell you how much voltage you have left in your wheel. And that way you can kind of estimate your ride and how much you have left to be able to go. As you can see on the side here, it has the Alien Rides branding. So you get the cool LED logo. You can change in the settings your uh, uh, LEDs on the side. It'll, you know, RGB, flash whatever colors that you'd want. And then if you look on the back as well, for the stop sign itself, you have the AR branding as well for your Alien Rides Nickel Plus. That's how you differentiate between, obviously, the 2700 watt hour version versus the 1800 watt hour version. You have the Nikola Plus pedals, they're a little wider than the standard pedals, um, and it's a really, really fun, great 16 inch ride here. Now what I'd like to point out also is you actually have this, this shell overhang that even though it's not technically waterproof, the rain, if you ever ride in rain or light drizzle, which we don't recommend, but if you decide you're, you're going to go out and do that, it tends to have a bit of a better disbursement, you know, the rain coming off of here so that it doesn't actually like, you know, hit the electronics as much. So that's just something to keep in mind. So Dennis, you wanna grab a, grab a phone and hook it up to the app and uh, we can show our viewers how that works? Absolutely. So there's several different apps that you can use for the EUCs. You have Darkness Spot on an iPhone and on uh, any Android device you have EUC World. So we're actually gonna start with the Bigot app. We're gonna click in here. When you get your wheel next to you, you can see that it has the name, you click on the name and then it will start. In the settings you can change whether you want it to read out in kilometers per hour, miles per hour, you can get your battery percentage, see how fast you're going. The Goad app is great for when you want to go ahead and get your battery percentage. If you're looking at battery percentage, I always strongly suggest for ECs to go off of your voltage, but you can go in there and let's say change your LEDs. So as you can see right now, it is all red. 
If I wanted to, I can change my uh, LED and now it's going to change to a very nice RGB. And that's within the settings of your Bagoda app and or EUC world itself. And it's really fun because then you can change it to whatever one that you do like. Now, Dennis, is there a speaker in this one? There absolutely is a speaker. Uh, on most EUCs, there are speakers. In the AR Plus and most Nikola's in general, they have some of the best speakers. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my settings here. Um, while I've already connected via the Bluetooth for the app to get to the wheel, for most Bagod and other wheels themselves, you have to go ahead and go into your Bluetooth settings. Uh, right here, it's popping up as GW Music 13260. And that's gonna connect to this specific Nikola Plus. And then now if I wanted to, I can go ahead and play some music. As you can see, they are relatively low right now. And it's really nice because you can get some personal music going for yourself. But if you want to get it a little louder, And it's really nice because you can always go ahead and listen to music as you're jamming off down the road. Um, these aren't obviously your audiophile speakers. They're just gonna be something really great. At the higher end, it's gonna sound a little tinny, but at the end of the day, you can go ahead and jam out while you're riding. Another great feature that EUCs have built in. All right, is there anything else you think we need to mention about this wheel in particular before we move on to the EXN? Overall, it's gonna be a really, really great beginner wheel. You can always add spike pedals to any of these wheels that you see, but uh, in general, 16 inch wheels are a little bit nimbler, uh, a lot more fun to ride. You can always go ahead and, and uh, get one, learn how to ride it, and if you want to grow into your next wheel, it's fine, but for most people, this is a wheel you won't outgrow. If you're looking to go ahead and buy your first wheel, uh, at its price of $25.99, it's a steal because you get a lot of range, a lot of speed, top speeds of about 40 miles per hour. Um, you won't outgrow this wheel. You can go ahead and, and go into your settings and make sure that if you don't wanna go so fast, program it to where it doesn't go as fast as you'd like to, get a little tilt pack going in. Um, other than that, I think this is a great all around uh, starter slash anything wheel that you wanna do. All right guys, it's time to unbox the EXN. Um, I'm super excited about this one because I personally really like the EXN. Same deal as last time. We've got all of our, our pads and uh, our paper and, and uh, user manual. Um, we got an accessory box. I'm going to guess this is the charger. Correct. So uh, it also comes with this uh, rear mud flap fender. Okay. We have we have uh, these these really pretty pedals. Comes stock with stock Bagode power pads. You can slap them on the side to your comfort level, whatever you like to ride with. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and take it out of uh, shipping mode. Uh, it always should come in shipping mode to prevent any accidental power button presses when shipping. So you go ahead and once again, turn it on. You're gonna hear a couple beeps. And then the lift sensor is under the handle here. Press and hold. Press the power button five times. Power cycle your wheel. And there it goes. So I'm a huge fan of this design. It's just like other Bagode wheels themselves. My favorite part is the almost Iron Man looking headlight. You get the little LEDs around the side and then as you press the power button once, you get your headlight turning on. The angle of design is a little bit different than your other traditional wheels, but you also get your uh, display for your battery display. You'll see a couple different bars there. Uh, that three is your ride mode. One, two, and three I believe is hard, soft, and medium mode as well as this display should and kilometers per hour is usually what it starts off with. Display how fast you're going. On the top here, you have your charge ports. So you have a dual charge port. Uh, like I said, come standard with three amp charger. Uh, you can go ahead and either have two three amps or if you wanna put a five amp and a three amp, get it charged at you know eight, eight amps at once. It can handle that just fine. And it's a really great feature to have two. So another really great feature that it has is the telescopic trolley handle. This one is positioned in the middle of the wheel. My favorite design 
for any of the wheels because it makes it easier to go ahead and trolley around as you can see Brian doing now. Um, instead of it being behind the wheel or in front of the wheel, it just makes it easier. It's at a comfortable height for you to be able to kind of just hold and roll with, so. It's definitely more comfortable than the, uh, than the loop handle on, on the, the Nikola. On the back, as you can see, it has a um, brake light. That's your LED brake light there. And unfortunately on the EXN, this is more of a powerhouse wheel. It's not your fancy flashy wheel. It doesn't have any of the LEDs that you would get on the Nikola Plus or other wheels that you see. But in my eyes, this one's meant more for raw performance. It's a 2700 watt hour wheel with the 2800 watt hour motor. So it's a really, really zippy wheel. Upwards of 45 miles per hour on this wheel. Uh, you can go a little faster. Some people have gotten up to 50, but rider's height, weight, terrain, and conditions apply as well as when you're going a certain uh, speed, you wanna make sure that you're at full voltage to avoid cutouts. Now, Dennis, this is the high speed edition. So yes. what's the difference between this one and the high torque edition? So the high torque has a lower top, set, top end speed and it's gonna consume the power differently than high speed version. You're gonna have the C30, so the motor is gonna have smaller magnets than it is on the C38, which is the high uh, torque motor. Real difference is just end, ending up being top speed. You're still gonna have the same pedals, uh, you're still gonna have the same tire, but one thing I do enjoy about this tire is that it's the Navi off-road tire. I believe it's the CST version that comes stock with Bugode. Really, really great for on and off-road. It's, it's ideal for trails. So if you were looking for a trail riding wheel, although this might be heavy, this one has enough power to get you range and speed. So definitely a good thing to look at if you're looking at uh, having some off-roading adventures with some you know light uh, trails. Okay, and Dennis, one last question for you. Um, the pedals. So I know that there are certain wheels, you know, like the V10 that we ride here has flat pedals. Uh, your other wheel has angled spike pedals. Are these adjustable? Or no? The stock pedals are not adjustable. Uh, the angle, I can't tell until I actually get on the wheel itself to be able to kind of figure out, but the way it looks, these are a little bit flatter, which is really nice. It's flatter um, with a slight angle. Yeah. So you can get some aftermarket uh, pedals from Bagode that are spiked that are really, really nice. Uh, those you can adjust the pedal uh, uh, angle with, but for this wheel itself, the pedal uh, angle is not adjustable with the stock pedals. All right, guys, we are super excited to be able to finally have EUCs for you guys. You know, as you all know, we're a full PEV shop. We do kind of everything. The only thing we really haven't done until today is EUCs. If you guys want to see some cool EUC content coming in the future, Dennis, who's our lead tech, he's going to be doing a whole bunch of repair and installation videos in the future as well. So like and subscribe, hit that bell if you want to see all of that cool content coming out. As always, we're still going to be putting out content for other PEV as well. So we'll be, you know, spreading the love everywhere. But uh, yeah, comment, you know, let us know what you want to see next on the video. And, uh, you know, we'll see you guys next time. Stay riding.